Hey folks, it's Mac again. This week's episode, QR codes. Are they risky? Hells yeah. Damn it. QR, or quick response codes, have become widely popular during the COVID-19 pandemic, and for good reason. Beyond being mesmerizing to look at, they offer touchless interactions, whether it's on print or electronic. I think the QR codes look like crap. Uses include scanning a QR code with your phone to read something such as a menu, presenting QR codes to verify information such as a lottery ticket or your proof of vax. Some codes and variations are even used to pair smartwatches. QR codes can trigger all sorts of actions, from sending an email, to downloading an app, to joining a Wi-Fi network, to creating a contact on your phone, to dialing a phone number. Are they risky? You bet they can be. Son of a quisher! QR codes can be tampered with, both physical and digital. Then they can be leveraged for phishing, quishing, or malware attacks. Maybe it's as straightforward as redirecting you to a malicious website trying to capture your credentials or your credit card deets. One such popular attack vector is public parking signage. I mean, slap a clone QR code over the original and whammy! What would I recommend for security measures? Well, for starters, don't put convenience over security. Maybe just type the website in when you're looking to view content. Be uber suspicious of anything that asks you for your credentials via QR codes. Keep your personal QR codes, such as your proof of vax, secured. Only allow verified and trusted parties to scan them. Avoid enabling the automatic execution of QR codes. Avoid using QR codes for financial transactions. Beware of any public QR code. Look for a QR code that's covering a QR code. Avoid QR codes that are received via text or email. Avoid third party scanner apps. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like or subscribe. That's how we'll make it better and move it forward.